A dispute that began in midsummer is now set to cripple the rail network this Christmas. As 40,000 members of the RMT continue to press for job security, higher pay and better conditions. On his way to meet the Rail Minister Hugh Merriman this morning, the RMT leader played down the prospect of a swift deal. They've never put an offer on the table, so hopefully either today or over the weekend they'll start to do that and then we'll have to take that back to the union, see what, see what they come up with. I've got a feeling it might be quite modest, might be the uh, polite word, uh, paltry might be another word, so we'll have to see how that goes in the next few days. Industrial action and service disruption have gone hand in hand for rail customers these last six months. With Britain's complicated franchise rail network, many have asked for the government to step in. But the Transport Secretary today called for operators and unions to agree a deal. It's not my job to do the negotiations and in fact the trade unions accept that it's not my job to do negotiations, that's for the employers and the unions. It is my role and I've accepted it's my role to make sure we can get the two parties to get round the table and hammer out that deal. With no deal in prospect, the RMT's new wave of action starts the week after next. The strike days are December the 13th, 14th, 16th and 17th. And disruptions also expected on the days either side of those walkouts. And straight after New Year, the RMT also plans to strike on January the 3rd, the 4th, the 6th and 7th, with services affected on the whole week once again. We estimate that the cumulative impact of the previous strikes and now this one in December, hospitality's busiest month, will amount to about £1.5 billion in lost revenues. And I, I really wouldn't want the point about it being our busiest month to be lost because it is so important to venues already struggling with other challenges. At the moment, RMT members won't be working any overtime in the week before and the week after Christmas making travel even more of a risky prospect across the entire festive period. And so surely, the present that rail workers and passengers want more than anything else this Christmas is a deal.